To be perfectly frank, I think they're quite confused as to my species. I've gotten them accustomed to me by mimicking them, and they're fascinated by my facial grimaces and other actions that I wouldn't be caught dead doing in front of anyone. Sigourney Weaver was nominated as Best Actress for Aliens and has also attracted positive critical reaction for a portrayal of Diane Fawcett, a real-life wildlife researcher who's the subject of Gorillas in the Mist here. Hollywood doesn't often give actors a chance to work on a project that not only presents a major acting challenge, but also promotes a worthy cause, like preserving an endangered species. I met with Sigourney in New York and asked her what came first, her interest in a good role, or her interest in a good cause. Well, I'd read the book. Okay. And I'd sort of decided the movie couldn't be made because I felt that the studios would perceive Diane as too strong and uh, unsympathetic a character. So I was very mm. excited that people wanted to do her and do her sort of warts and all. So I think, quite selfishly, I really saw it as an <laughs> opportunity for me as an actress. It wasn't until I got over there and really got to know Diane through yeah. my research and everything that I realized that the... I always thought the film was about something important and that, again, drew me to to, to do it, but I, I don't think I... I think I couldn't imagine how powerful the experience would be of being with the gorillas and how much it would change the way I sort of see animals now. It had to have been difficult shooting nonetheless. I mean, you were in Rwanda, mm -hmm. you were in uh, hostile conditions in many ways. Mm -hmm. How did you physically cope with all of that? One day at a time. One day at a yeah. time. <laughs> I think, uh, luckily, we were all in the same boat. Uh, I probably had it a little better than most people. I had a bathtub. Uh, oh, for, really? Part of one. I didn't always have water, or I didn't always have water I wanted to get into. But, but you could crawl for the most into the part, I could be cool in the bathtub. Yes, or be hot, because it was actually <laughs> freezing there, which was unexpected. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. We, the rainy season was supposed to be over, and it wasn't. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, you, you just... I, kept thinking, my gosh, Diane came here by herself right. and lived up at the top of that mountain, and then whatever you were going through just seemed, you know, inconsequential. To what extent did you worry about the fact that you are making a movie, so you're not doing a documentary here? Mm -hmm. To what extent did you worry about where it might have varied from Diane's real life? In fact, to what extent do you feel it did? Well, we really did a lot of research. For instance, there was a rumor that she'd been raped, and mm. because of that, uh, during the Congolese Civil War, uh, the she was a racist because of that. We really did a lot of research trying to find out exactly what happened. We, we talked to Leakey's sons because there was a lot of correspondence between her and Leakey. Right. And I just tried to get as much real information as I could. And I think we didn't try to digress from her life at all. Although, for instance, the Bob Campbell story is representative of her love affairs, but it's not exactly, you know, I'm sure they never took a bath together. Last question. Tell us, in your own words, how you feel about the situation now. More attention is needed, more money sent to the Digit Fund and other groups that support the mountain gorillas. There was an outbreak of measles this year, and it, oh. it really won't take much to throw the progress off. Yes. The poaching has been reduced, but I think they still need to send out regular patrols. In other words, it, we're, it's begun to improve, but there's no... A definite positive end in sight. Sigourney, thank you very much for giving us your time. Thank you. With Sigourney Weaver in New York City, I'm Patrick Stone. Thank you.